How you doing people? Robert here aka Rob S Anti-Corruption Scotland. This video is about the illusion of democracy and how there is no democracy as I said in the last two videos and I'm going to give you another further insight to this, how this works and how it affects the people that register to vote as persons and vote and still don't get a say, right? Now, we have the Labour Party, the Tory Party, the Lib Dem Party, the Green Party, the SNP, right? Examples. And what happens is these people have members in their parties, they have conferences, they discuss policies with their members. And these members pay a membership fee towards these people and some donate large sums of money to these corrupt criminals, right? And what happens is they make decisions in a big building, a conference, whatever you want to call it, with policies, rules, regulations and policies relating to corporations. It's not to do with a sovereign man or woman. And these members that pay into this membership have a say in these policies, people. It overrides the people outside these parties and their members, right? Because you're no part of their secret society. You're not a member in their secret society. You don't contribute to their secret society. And this is where the problem is. This is where the lobbyists come in as well. And all the ones above them that pull their strings, right? Now, when these people in the Westminster government, Irish government, Welsh government, Scottish government, entities, men and women that represent these entities, create policies, the people still don't have a say in this, right? Because people are under the illusion that there is a democracy when there is not a democracy. And this is how the people get screwed out of their rights and freedoms. When men and women represent entities known as governments, so they all have a vote in this Westminster Parliament, Scottish Parliament, etc, etc. And what happens is they agree these policies, right? Bear in mind, people, all your so-called governments, Westminster government, Scottish government, etc, etc, are private corporations. Your politicians are all registered private corporations, right? So that becomes a law contract. The government is definitely not sovereign, one million percent. They can never be sovereign if they're a private corporation because they're acting in commerce, the law of contract. And this is the bit people don't get. These people don't have the power of authorities, I keep telling you, because they are not sovereign. They never give the people their rights or freedoms. They give legal rights, which is for the persons, for the entities, for the corporations. Now, the point being is when these people agree these policies in the Westminster Parliament, Scottish Parliament, etc, etc, it's applicable to all these people that agree to that. All these people, all these members in these conferences, all these members and uh, members of Parliament agree to that. It applies to them only. It doesn't apply to anybody else, people, because we didn't get full disclosure. We didn't give consent. We never filled in a contact or an agreement. But what's happening is I keep telling you to steal your consent every time in this legal system without a shadow of a doubt. It affects your life every day of your life because online, digital, this, digital, that. You know where I'm going with this, people, right? We don't get a say in the matter, right? It doesn't matter that the people register to vote as persons or corporations or fictions, right? We don't get that point because we're no part of their society, legal society. We're no part of it. The reason being is because we don't need every party, it's our choice, right? What we have to do, as I keep telling you, and I'm going to keep pushing this message, is a sovereign government, a people government. We have to stop all this nonsense with political parties, members in these political parties, conferences, corporations, and shut it down once and for all. That is the only way we're going to get change. As I says, we are governed and policed by consent, but that is not the way the system works. You've been screwed every day, people, and until people wake up, smell the coffee, realise what's happening and how it's happening, it's not going to stop. And as I said in the last couple of videos, we do not have democracy in the lands of England, Ireland, Wales and Scotland. And as long as these parasites, rats, snakes at the lowest level are still in power, we're never going to have democracy. We're going to lose our rights. We're going to lose our freedoms. And everything else that comes with their Mickey Mouse legal system, legal society. We're not part of that society, people. This is a bit you have to understand. 
we are not part of that society. We cannot be part of that society. Because if you're part of that society, they control your lives and what you do, what you say, what you choose, where you go, where you don't go, what you eat and what you don't eat. That's what's happening here, right? But there's a lot of people that are still sleeping. And it's we as a people's duty and obligation as living individuals, men and women, to spread the message, enough is enough. Sometimes I'll say, when is enough enough? I'm saying right now, enough is enough. You see what's happening. We've now just had a recession according to today, right? And they're, they're putting it out there like it's no big deal. Well, it is a big deal, right? Why are we in a recession, people? Is it the people's making? Did the people cause this? No. Your so-called numpties that you vote into power, the tyrants that you get consent to, and don't even know that you get consent or change the jurisdictions for lawful or legal, you're a person, no a man or a woman. That's the problem that people have to understand. Before we can get remedy, the people have to understand who and what they are. And that's a fact. And if you don't know who and what you are, God help you, right? Because this is where the difference comes in. We the people have got to get up and do something about this. We have got to rise and say, we're not having it anymore, right? You will not tell us what to do without our consent. You will not control our lives without our consent. You will not take our sons and daughters without our consent. Right? You see what's happening, right? It came to my attention, David Cameron's wanting to bring people from Palestine that's been injured in this war over there, right? I've not got an issue with that, right? But what I have got an issue with, this country's in a recession. People here can't get medical treatment, dental treatment or anything else, right? The doctors are playing cat and mouse games with making appointments, you've got to get a call first before they decide what they're going to do. That's not what that system is set up to do. That system is paid for by the people purse, not the public purse, the people purse, because only the people can pay for something to give services. And we require these services. And it's like, all these people are coming into this country getting benefits and all the rest of it. Where's the evidence to say they're coming from war, war-torn countries? Where is that evidence? Single males, you don't see sons and daughters coming over on boats. You see men. And there's a bigger picture there. And the people know what I'm talking about. The ones that's woke up, the ones that's not woke up, we're called conspiracy theories, but they're the conspiracy theories because they've not got a clue what's going on in this world, the real world, right? I know what's going on in this world. And many people that I associate with that's woke up know what's going on in this world. Please, people, wake up, smell the coffee. As I said before, we don't need political parties. We don't need people registering in their system with political parties because they've got nowhere anywhere, right? And that's a fact. These tyrants that run this system are corrupt to the core. They're criminal cartels. Every legal party is a criminal cartel against the people. It's a mafia. And that's no joke. It's a mafia. They're robbing the people blind. They're bullying the people. People are committing suicide every day the media don't cover. People are depressed. The media don't cover. The media's one of the other problems. Disregard the media, the tele-live vision, the radio, the papers, and all the interviews with these politicians like Question Time, that's all rigged. That's all he said that the wrong message and make it look like something is getting done. Well, I can tell you when it comes to Question Time, before you even get your question on that show, they ask you what you tell you. You tell them what you're going to say, and if they don't agree with it, they'll tell you to modify the question or you'll not get to speak, right? And that's the way it is, because I know somebody went to one of these. Uh, a while back and that's what happened to him he couldn't get asking the question because they weren't happy with what he was asking anyway people there is no democracy this is a bit you have to understand we're in a recession it's no doing to the people that caused it it's doing to the tyrants and power that you voted in they stole your consent and now you're paying the price and it's going to get worse as I keep saying, every day, every week, every month, it's not going to get any better until the people stand up, rise up, make the effort and make the change that's required to protect the people's rights, freedoms, the elderly, the sick, the homeless, the sons and daughters, especially them, because they're the next generation at risk. Please share this video far and wide. Make it viral, people. Please get it out there. Start speaking about what I'm speaking about and get this information out there. I'll speak soon. Take care. Be safe and have a good night. Bye-bye.